Orange muscle car drifting through intersections near postal code 376. Metro 535. I'm 1097 in the area. 518, same traffic. I'm uh, postal 378 exactly. I'll keep an eye out. Copy, I'm at the digital den 371. Metro 535, I have that vehicle. We're gonna be at 376 if you wanna roll this way, 518. Tempo. We're gonna be facing westbound towards BPD to red. Tempo, are you stopped with him or are you still trying to put him over? Uh, we just had a red light, it's now green. He's now on the back wheels. We're gonna be at San Andreas and Palomino. Yeah, tempo I'm behind you. Metro 535, 1050, nearest postal 376, Palomino and San Andreas on an orange two door muscle car. Where's the plate? K, that is the one. Okay, KXG. KXG Brian Card Brian Card Hi sir Sergeant West for the LSPD, you got your license, registration, and proof of insurance on your vehicle? Yeah, let me grab that for you, uh, Sergeant. You in a hurry today, sir? Nah, just enjoying the nice day, taking the car out for a little spin. Right. There's my ID, it should be Brian Card on that. Alright. For you. Any reasons why we would have got a number one call, you know, you know, you flying around recklessly driving and drifting and stuff like that? I mean, I may have lost a little bit of grip on a corner or two. Nothing too excessive. Nothing too excessive. Gotta have a little fun. What about the, the um, wheelie you did back there on the back two wheels right in front of me? Uh, that was for your dash cam. Can I get a copy of that? Okay. Yeah, yeah, sure. If you want to go ahead and turn off the engine and just come and step over here. Near my car, I'll happily show it to you. Oh, really, dude? Sweet! Yep. Let's check it out. Yeah, let's go and pull her up. You've, you've got no weapons or anything on you, do you? Nah, I got nothing. You mind if I just give you a light frisk? Just you want before me, you... You want to search me? Yeah, just before here, I... I'll go stand right here yep. so you can search me. Perfect. Frisk doesn't work. We'll just do a body search and just RP weapons. Like a gun, because you can feel that. Alright, go ahead and take a seat in the passenger seat, Lou. Alright. Alright, I'm just so gonna... this footage at? Yeah, just give me a second, I gotta pull it up. Are you on your fancy little laptop here? Yeah, hang on, I just gotta just plug in the SSD in there. There you go. Alright. Oh, there, officer, you okay? You uh, got a flyer? Yeah, I thought I saw a wasp. You? Yeah, that was a wasp. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright, there you go, there's the footage, Mr. Card. Oh, look at that. Isn't that just sweet? That car handles so amazingly. You should get one and try it out. They're a lot of fun. I'll keep that in mind. So, the other issue is I have you doing 57 in a 35. Oh, that doesn't sound too bad. 
I have you reckless driving, doing a wheelie and speeding. You, you don't think that sounds too bad? I mean, last I checked, I didn't run into anybody. I That's got to be a plus, this right? Is, this is valid. What do you think, Officer McGee? He has a good point. Well, I was just... I was just thinking how good the car handles uh, in the turns, you know? Does it drift well? Oh, yeah. I've taken her down to the track before. She drifts really well, you know, on non-road streets. You Mr. Know, Card, conditions. you already it's admitted to me up there. there at the door that you were doing drifts because you were seeing how she handled it and giving it a run. I said that I lost a little bit of traction around a couple corners. I never used the word drifting. I mean, that... You used that word. Okay, I used that word, but I mean, that's pretty much enough if you ask me, mate. We also have witnesses calling you in an uh, orange muscle car he and just around here, which is why we're out with you. Blondie out well, there. Do they have point. any footage of me? Because I'd like that too. Do you like just looking at yourself in the camera? Like, is that a thing, is it? I mean, you got a nice car, you got to show it off. Right. Officer McGee, do you think that's a nice car? I think. Uh, yeah, I think our undercovers would love a car like that, eh? Yeah. Maybe then we can Come try Come on, out. Sergeant. You, you look like a muscle car kind of guy. Uh, I don't mind a muscle car. No, my wife likes a Prius, though. I hate the fucking thing. Oh. I'm sorry. I'll send my condolences. Good night. Good night. I appreciate that, Mr. Card. But, you know, if I impound this vehicle, maybe I can drive it around and I won't have to drive a Prius. <laughs> well, I mean, it'd still be my car, and I'll just have to pay the fine to get it out, if, if you really want to be the mean cop here. Alright, this is what's happening, okay? You're gonna get a ticket for reckless and careless driving for the wheelie that I caught you doing back there and speeding. You're also getting a speeding ticket. It's a. What did we say? What did we say here? It's a three and a half thousand dollar citation. Um, you can contest it in court if you feel it's necessary, even though you just witnessed the dash cam of you doing exactly what I just said, okay? Alright. Alright. Now, Miss Officer McGee just said, you know, this could be a nice car for undercover, undercover operations and stuff, and he's got a good point. If we catch you continuously driving or getting more reports of you driving like this, we will impound the vehicle. Do you understand? Alright, I'll tone it down. Alright, here's your copy. Now, like I just said, just... just do the speed limits, follow the road rules, and we won't have any issues. If you want to drift it or let it loose, or whatever you quoted back there, take it down the racetrack, okay? It's not for the roads. Alright. I will drive sensibly on the roads. Alright, Mr. Carter. Yeah, the sergeant must be feeling really nice to you. Why is that? I'd have written you up for the One tent three, as well. Ten eight, such an issue. Oh, that is it? tent is beautiful. Is that pure black, actually, now that I look at it? Stay there, Mr. Wow. Card. Stay there. Sir, I need you to move your shit box. I need to get out of the car, sir. Excuse me in the green ass ugly shit box. Good luck with that. God. It's a female. She refuses to move. She says she's she's uh, gonna document this. One of those uh, social warriors, I guess. Ah, uh, one of these bitches. Oh, oh, there she goes. Yeah, I think she got the oh, hint. Wow. Stay there, Mr. Card, stay there. Remain calm, sir. Wow, you guys must be bored. What do you think, Officer McGee? I can't see a thing from there. Alright. Officer McGee here is right, I am in a good mood, okay? So. So this is my this is my reward to you. Go and you know go and get that tent taken down a, a few notches, okay? You can't even see through that, dude. And then you know we'll be all good. If we catch you driving that though with that window tint, we're gonna write you a ticket. You understand? 
All right, I'll take it under advisement. You take it on. Are you really gonna take it under advisement? Yeah, I'll put it in the request next time I take it in for service. Right, okay. Well, and she's a temperamental car, so she needs service quite often. She well, probably needs service like tomorrow. Let me let me rephrase this simple simply for you, because you seem a little low IQ there. Okay, fix the window tin. Or you're gonna lose the car, no doubt, okay? Alright, I'll fix the window tent. Okay. Jeez. Step out for me. I'm glad you understand now, Mr. Card. Here's your license and all that back. There you go. Oh, thank you. You are free to go. Go and take care of your window tint issue and drive sensibly. I hope we never, ever, ever, ever bump into you again because you're gonna be a good citizen of Los Santos. Oh, the best. The, the best. Yeah, exactly. The best. Careful now. Alright, get in this car quick. Would have been funny if you got run over. A little bit. Are you oh. seriously kidding me? Yikes. You, well, can, you can pull him over this time. Matt, sir, I need you to move, sir. Thank you. Uh, Metro 535, I've lost eyes on him and I'll be 10-8. Ah. Alright then. Um, we divide and conquer and we look for him, I think is our best bet. Okay. Okay. Should we put it over the radio too? Um. Uh, yeah, it's probably a good idea. Yeah. Metro five three five. Be on the lookout for a two door orange muscle car. Our is going to be a Brian card. Um, he's wanted for reckless driving. Orange muscle car seen popping wheelies on Eldrin. Power eight, that's gonna be our car it's on Elgin. Copy five three five in route. Little through go route. Five thirty five ten ninety seven in the area. Should be up a street, just one. We need to meet up for drinks. Right. I think that's him up there. Five one eight five thirty five. He's gonna be westbound vine, we're near the bank. Temple. Intersection of Vinewood and uh, Ultra, I believe. One of three on the other. Front, away. Five thirty five ten fifty westbound Vinewood near Adams Apple, nearest postal five six seven on the same orange two door vehicle. Mr. Card. Oh, my old buddy, Sergeant West. How's it hanging? Oh, it's hanging. You want to come out and look at some CCTV footage of your vehicle? 
Oh, you, what, somebody else recorded me? I, uh, I wasn't doing anything uh, wrong, I swear. It was a lie. It had to have been before we got stopped. Okay, yeah, we'll come out and we'll have a look at it. Just shut the engine off so you don't waste any fuel and I'll show you this stuff. It's got some nice muscle cars in it. Oh, uh, does it have, what kind of muscle cars? Uh, I believe there's a, a Duke, a uh, Sabre GT. There's even one of these bad boys, lime green in it. I also got a magazine too. Oh, really? Yeah, I got a magazine as well. Oh, you, 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 see, I knew you were a muscle car guy. Don't tell my wife, Mr. Card. This is between you and I. Oh, I won't. I, I will. I'll keep it a secret if you don't give me a ticket. Okay. Yeah, like I said, just go ahead and we'll just chat about it. Alright, let's see it. Let's show this, let's see this magazine you've got. Hey, officer, can you just hang out with him? Um, the magazines are just here. There is a car magazine. Um, that's on my keypad there. Hey, Officer McGee, can you come here for a sec? Hey, did he say sure? I don't know if he was... I think he was lying about the yep. magazine. Yep. Oh, wrong way. Oh. I feel disappointed now. Um, I told him I wouldn't arrest him just to get him out of the car, but I didn't say that no one else would. So, do you want to go and put some cuffs on him? Uh, sure. Just in case he decides to do something stupid, we don't want that. Wow, well, that oh, no, is it really that? And I can't stop running. Oye, puta. Might want to, uh... Oh, my legs are good now. If, if there oh, were yeah. A key... yeah, yeah, oh. there you go. Yeah, thanks. I'm Man, on the sword you right. must be a slow day in the city. Very slow day in the city. Four still. cars for one traffic yeah, stop. Yeah, well, you love like, cars, damn. don't you? I thought you wanted to look at them all. Who was it, bro? Is that what? Did you find that right, Brian? Up there, Your name's Brian? Uh, yeah, Brian. Brian Cart. You a muscle guy? I guy? just. No, you blondie. You probably don't uh... like muscle cars. <laughs> oh, man. You can't speak then. Uh, I'm gonna place your hands behind your back and we're just gonna put these on you, alright? Looks like there's uh, oh, so many but... vehicle I just bought it. There's nothing in my car. You lying. Okay. Uh, well, I'm detaining you for um for the. Sergeant Weston want to wanna go back on his pros on his, on his on his promise of not giving me a ticket, so he went and got you to do his dirty work. I see how it is. I trusted him. He said he was a muscle car guy and he lied. I am a muscle car guy, sir, but I, I did go back on my word. I I never stated in the promise I gave to you that I, you know, I wouldn't have someone else arrest you. I said I wouldn't do it. I didn't say that Officer McGee or Yeah, so you're officer... getting somebody else to do your dirty work, yes. so yet you feel good about it at the end of the day and you can go home to your wife. I never wife. said I feel good about it. I have to do it's my probably job. probably boring. No, you're not under arrest. Drives you're being a detained. Prius. That must be, that must be a rough relationship. Yeah, you're being detained. You're not under arrest like I stated to you. Or well, Officer McGee did anyway. Yeah, but the dog, like, Jesus, you must have, like, zero going on. Four cops plus a dog? It's a very oh, slow day in Los Santos, sir. Didn't, did, didn't know I was that popular. God damn. <laughs> no, it just seems like everyone else but you is following Start signing on. autographs. But when you take off like you did from our, from our uh, traffic stop there, you know, we, 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 we got to start wondering what... It... The dog learning to him, you might want to uh, search him. Copy, I gave him a frisk early, I'll let 518 know. From a stop, you know? Okay, well, you for my safety, I'm gonna pat you, you down. You, you, you got any weapons or anything on you? It's gonna turn on for no, me, so I'm gonna I pat you down. Okay. I don't got nothing. Okay, nothing in your pockets, no drugs, no Look knives, no drugs, guns, no, uh, no, no, no nothing. Crazy. No, yeah. none of that. No, just one moldy sandwich, it looks like. Was that dog alerting to the car, Kim? I'm, I'm not sure he's going, he's going crazy when he's around him. Okay. I, I think Officer McGee said he's clean. Yeah, he's clean. Anything in your vehicle, sir? Oh. Hey, nah. Run him around the car. Clean. Okay. Did you let him inside my car, officer? Oh, no, I don't know. Did he open the door? I didn't step foot in the car. No, you you opened the door and then it just magically shut. No, no, okay, I'm gonna just check because I you did were not in my step car in earlier. the vehicle.
I'm just checking, I'm just checking, sir, because that dog's going crazy. I'm just making sure you didn't put any of these drugs in my car. Okay, no. My front end, my front seems good. I, th I think that dog's just oh. a bit angry. He's Do you know what something. the dog's alerting to you? It, he's alerting to me because I had a I had to confiscate a bag of coke earlier. Now oh, I'll be, look at that! Oh, that's that's in my van. That's in my that's in the back of my. Oh. He's probably oh, alerting to that. Officer yeah. McGee. Mm. Maybe you should you know empty out your pockets after a drug <laughs> search. You know, <laughs> then the dog won't go so crazy. I was trying Somebody to, give and that then cop a metal. Uh, we got some guy drifting an orange orange uh, muscle car around oh, here. Oh sure. Blame it on the blame it on the guy in the car. I mean, it, look, there's four of you out here at least. I mean, you didn't have to respond right away. You could have taken the time to ditch the drugs. Uh, not not the first time, no, because uh, I was right around the corner when that call came in. So, Mr. Card, you're gonna hang out here with um, Lieutenant Eve here, and if you probably resist her, she'll probably let a dog bite you or chew some parts off your limbs. Um, Officer McGee? Well, I'm, I'm not in the mood to get bit today, so I'll just stand here and wait. That's... You wanna just tow his... You got any... I, I don't know what I wanna do to him, that's why I'm asking you. Do you wanna tow his car, or... What do you think? Hit him with more fines? You, you did you did you give him a yeah did you give him a citation last time? I gave him a citation for aggressive careless driving two thousand dollars and I gave him one for speeding one to nine over the speed limit when he was doing a bit he's probably doing thirteen over. Okay, well I mean, he then did the wheelie from our traffic stop and everything, then I, I witnessed him doing another one and I'm pretty sure I've got him on radar again doing fifty nine. I think this is a forty five. So what's that? Fourteen over the limit. Yeah. Let's write him up for everything, um, and, but tell him that he's going to jail um, for aggressive careless driving. So he's going to get a misdemeanor for that, I guess. But uh, we're taking his car and see how he responds. If he if he seems apologetic and is genuine about it, we may oh, you want reconsider. Trip, but and just stick with the citation. Yeah. Yep. He probably react better to you. I'll, I'll write up the paperwork. You're not going to indeed. Good luck. You know? There's a racetrack, okay. you know, that you can do that at. Oh yeah, I've been there. It's a fun racetrack. <laughs> you, you mind turning around towards the brand? I don't really want to talk to your for uh, your the back of your head. All right, we can talk face to right, face. Well, just to let you know, we're, we're looking at an aggressive, careless driving charge right now, which is a misdemeanor. So you're going to be looking to go into prison, or well, some sometime, maybe depending on what the judge thinks of about you, which. Honestly, I don't know what she's uh, going to think about I'm you, sure but, if uh, he's a muscle car guy, I'll be okay. Uh, it's probably a shitty actually. He'll understand. Actually, um, um, I mean, they can uh, be just You can't be going around assuming genders, well. so... If they are a okay. muscle car person, I'm sure they'll understand. Yo, dude! Okay, well... Uh, Sergeant West is just writing up your misdemeanor, and then we're gonna tow your vehicle. That's going into our, our in impound lot. So. Well, make sure well, we they're nice to it. <laughs> I don't know what's so what's gonna to happen to it. They'll super. probably end up in a Fast and Furious style wreck or something. I don't know. Well, if there's any damage on it, I'm suing you. I'm holding you personally responsible for Not any my damage problem, to my sir. vehicle. Yeah, well, it you, will be. You're the one problem. who lost your vehicle. We told right, you, you not, not, here. not to keep doing it. Yeah, we're good. Thank you. Alright. So, yeah, that's... And, and you, you know, you don't you don't seem very... Mm. Very apologetic about, about either losing your vehicle or the aggressive really careless driving charge, so... He doesn't care. I mean, that's what's gonna happen, you just right? impound so, in the vehicle, currently... I can pay for it to get out. It's not the end of the world. <laughs> <laughs> not gonna sit here and uh, well, cry I mean, we're about gonna put it. in a request that uh, you don't get your vehicle back, and uh, it is uh, permanently. Uh, it's founded. my property, so, uh, though. Metro 444. Going yeah, to but we, we don't we don't think that uh, you deserve your vehicle back, so we're gonna put that request in and well, just make sure the judge sees also, it. You can't be driving around. As well, request. Yeah, yeah, we'll put that in too. I think the judge will see from our body cam that uh, you don't seem very apologetic and uh, and such. So. 
So just to let you know, uh, you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say, can and will be sent in the court of law. You have the right to an attorney present during questioning. If you can afford one, one shall be appointed to you by the state of San Andreas. Um, and you're going to be charged again with the uh, second degree misdemeanor of aggressive careless driving. Okay, he is getting, he got, yeah, he's getting charged. All right, we'll do this. All oh, right. And on top of that, uh, sergeant's also writing up the rest of the tickets as well. So that's going to be a hefty charge on top of that for uh, the wheelie and the uh, the speeding. I believe sergeant plucked you at um, 59 and a 45. What is this? Yeah, it's a 45. What is your name again, Nothing. officer? <laughs> I'm uh, Sergeant McGee. Oh, not Sergeant McGee. <laughs> Sergeant I'm, I'm McGee? Officer Dick McGee, there we go. Oh, Dick. Yeah, makes sense. <laughs> makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> Very fitting. Uh, you can call me Richard, though. Fine. I'm, I'm I like sorry that. for driving aggressively in my muscle car. It gets oh, away from me. I don't know if you are. It gets so away you from sit, me. You, when you get what behind the wheel it? of the car like that, it just it speaks to you, and you just you can't help yourself. All right. we'll do it the other so, way. so what you're saying is that uh, we're right in taking your vehicle because you you don't know how to control your vehicle. Sounds like it to me. I mean, I'm learning to control it. It's a process. I just I need some more time with her, and I'll be able to control her. Good. Yeah, it's a bit too late for that, I think, now, unfortunately. It looks like, uh, all the paperwork's done. Um, Where is it? Well, darn. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Yeah. Ah, here it is. Hey, Sergeant, make sure you write that window turn in there, too. Dude, I just started walking and I didn't stop until I reached Pillbox Hill. Oh, just pile oh, up all the charges on the guy out. having fun. It was amazing, man. I, I met a dwarf. And a I, I told you, I mean... If you couldn't learn how to drive your car, we would, and we pull you over again, then we'd write you up for it. But we're just sticking to our words, sir. So. Oh, oh, now you stick to your word. <laughs> yep. I mean, it's I not mean, something you can do. Always, you said you were gonna he always stuck to his word. That. It was me that didn't just. You might want to get correct there, so. But oh, Brian um, said, didn't Brian say that he wasn't gonna do this anymore? That he wouldn't, he wouldn't do really easy. Yeah, I said I was gonna, gonna be a model myself. citizen. He said. Yeah. Well, it happens. It happens. All right, he's getting. Oh. All right. Well, we'll uh, wrap up that citation for for a misdemeanor as well, and you'll show up in court, I guess. There'll be a date on that and all that, and then uh, we'll let you go. We'll, go come, we'll impound your vehicle, and we'll have to get a ride out of here or whatever you need to do. All right. I can walk. Let get some exercise. Hopefully. Mm -hmm. All right, turn around for me. I'll get those cuffs off for you. What was the plan? KX uh, La Santa Street name Westbound Vinewood. How are we looking on that citation, Sergeant? Uh, here's the paperwork for the misdemeanor. It's a twenty thousand dollar one. Here you go. I would pass it through that window. Hey. I'm just doing the traffics. All right, sir. Hey. All right. Oh. I'm gonna do your signature on the bottom. As a uh... As proof that you've uh, been issued this this ticket. There, there you go. And here's your oh, copy. There is a window tint, yes. Thank you. Oh, it looks like the misdemeanor is being printed now. That was the misdemeanor. These are the traffic citations. Oh, okay. There we go. All right. Sorry, I had to get the clipboard for this one. Mr. Card, you're getting a citation for aggressively, aggressive careless driving again. That's another $2,000. Speeding, this time it's not 1 to 9, it's 10 to 19. That's a $2,000 citation. And window tint violation, which is $1,000, okay? Um, you are, like I said, welcome to fight this in court, as are you with, you know, that other one, but we have it on dash cam and all that kind of thing. I witnessed it. I believe some other officers witnessed your reckless and careless driving. Um, here is your copy. You have till the end of the month to pay it. If you don't pay it, a bench warrant will be placed out for your arrest. Do you understand? 
Yeah, I understand. Hmm. So, right, anything in that vehicle that we maybe we'll find no, when we you know look through? Okay. I keep it clean, gonna... pristine. You can't have trash in there. I mean, it's got a bit of dirt on it, so I don't know if I'd call that pristine. Hey, be me. Well, a little Money. bit of dirt on the outside, you know, it's hard to keep a car clean in this dirty of a city, you know? Yeah, uh, I mean, that's true. And you probably got some scrapes underneath the bumper there where you had her up on the back wheels. Yeah, well, that buffs out, you know? Oh, okay. But the inside, it clean as a whistle. Clean as a whistle. So, are you, are you saying it's that clean we could eat off the floor and, like, it's, like, ster sterilized? Oh, yeah, you could. Oh. You could you could eat off of any surface inside that vehicle. Cleaned so, it this morning, by the way. Is that what you're saying over there, Mr. Officer McGee? We could eat off the floor of that thing? I I wouldn't even sit in there. There's, like, some weird grease thing or... I don't, I don't know. It's, oh, oh, he's yeah, lying. Even... There's a lot of bars in Might there. Might just be they body They hold bacteria pretty well, those things. Sir, are you a handshake kind of guy or a kiss kind of guy? Wait, what? Now what? I'm confused. Do you, like, would you rather shake hands with somebody or kiss them? Like, what? You? Do, I'm, I'm doing this for like a science project right. for my um, child. Probably just shake hands. Yeah. Seems, seems a little out of left field there, Sergeant. See, that's the thing though. Like, that my daughter, you know, she's learned about science and all this, and apparently. And I mean, I knew it as well, but I already knew it. But apparently, it's actually le less bacteria, and it's a lot safer to kiss somebody than shake someone's hand. The amount of bacteria that's on a hand, ugh. I mean, scientifically speaking, that makes sense because you touch more things with your hands than your mouth. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I just wanted your opinion on it, sir, because you seem to be a little, you know, a little lower IQ in that department. So I thought you might have had a different answer or something. You might have had some sort of information that I didn't have. Uh, at least my wife doesn't drive a Prius. I mean, it it's pretty decent on fuel. Oh. <laughs> Unlike her performance in bed, probably. Is he free to go, Officer McGee? Because I might smack him if he stays here any longer. Yeah, sure. Toes coming, hopefully. Bye, Mr. Car. Sure Bye. Need a tow for this shit Bye. Box here. Bye. You're gonna love, you're gonna love walking. They invented that back in the, whenever the fuck they invented that shit. Yeah, try not to do wheelies on foot. That, that won't go well. Yeah, don't slip over. I think he looks a little upset. He should be. I mean, about time he started feeding something. Well, I mean, he he literally set that up. If he was, you know, remorseful and stuff, he could have kept the car today. Exactly. That was a plan, but nope. Sir, yeah, sir, do you mind us ramming into me? No, it's okay, you just continue about your day. Asshole. The go on the pair. Good god. Um, sir, you dropped your donut. Work together, I suppose. Sir. No. I don't think he wants that. Do you. Hey, officer, do you want this donut here? It's free. It's only missing like a little part here. Uh, no, I'm, I'm not hungry. hungry. Not hungry? No? Okay. Yeah. I'll, I'll pass, thanks, sir. Wherever you went. Jack and us. Hey, girl. Alright, I'm gonna quick work for them to tow lately. Yeah, they went fucking around today. He's right around the corner. Yeah, he's around the corner. Um, Alright, well, I'll clear off as well. Yeah. Yep. Good, good result. One mm -hmm. nice car. Oh. Um, oh? Oh, County Toe! Um, no, uh, Toe man, you took his car! Kinda... Where, where'd he go? I kinda wanted to walk he, he to the station today. So um, so, it out for me. Officer, I think, I think Brian Card, he walked that way if you want to walk with him. Because you got no car either. Mm. You better get jogging though to catch up to him. Because he's probably doing wheelies. I'll just, uh, I'll wait for a taxi, don't worry. Okay. Just, just stand on the side of the road like this. Taxi! See how that goes for you, you know? 
I'll All take right, good luck, sir. We'll do, we'll do. Um, I'll take you, but you've got like one minute to get in the car because I'm leaving. Oh, Alright, okay. stay safe. Wind your window up, please. I'm just kidding, I can do it from here. Metro 535, I'll be back tonight.